everyone! So a few weeks ago Etsy made an announcement on uh, changes for free shipping and guaranteed free shipping for US uh, customers and all of that. And the first thing I did was to create a short video in order to inform everyone about the changes and how they, in my opinion, should react to it. I've taken down this video because even though I didn't want to express my personal opinion on the matter, somehow people understood that I was expressing my opinion and they assumed that that opinion was different than my actual opinion. I don't know if that made any sense, but all in all, I was getting somehow judged for an opinion that wasn't really mine. And I understand that probably that was some miscommunication on my part and that's why I took the video down. I have no problem with people disagreeing with my opinions, but I do want them to be actually my opinions and, what, and not what others assume are my opinions. So, when I made this video, I wanted it to be purely informative for those who wanted to stay high in the ranking and in Etsy search, and I suggested that if they wanted to do that, they should indeed comply to Etsy's changes and uh, I provide free shipping. I'm already doing that, so I didn't put that much thought into it. And as I said, my point was to inform my audience for a change that was about to happen. Most people realized that, but others didn't and thought that this was me saying that I agree with this change. I don't. I don't think it makes any sense. I don't think it uh, serves anyone, I don't think it serves the international market and a worldwide market, I don't think it helps people like me who are not in the US, I don't think... I generally think it's a wrong decision to make. And I've seen a lot of videos on the matter, I can see that we all agree on that, to disagree with Etsy, but my video was not about that. My video was about people like me who, even though I disagree with these changes, I have no choice but to comply. If I don't, I'll get lost. Now, bigger shops that have been around for years and have built their social media audience, they have a huge following, they can support their own shop in their own website or maybe in another platform, said that they would be leaving Etsy and that they want to boycott this movement. I completely understand that. But it's not something that I can do. I don't have the following, I don't have yet the strength to support my own shop in my own website or on another platform. I have a million reasons where I am right now in Greece with the way I work not to be able to move to another platform, so Etsy is the only solution for me and I think for others like me too. So, the point of my video was to say that if you are like me and you have no other choice but to stay on Etsy and try to survive for long enough to have some income until our audience grows and until we become big shops like others, we should comply to this change because it's the only way to grow and stay afloat. I just think, in all in all, that complaining without being able to do something about it is a waste of time. So I thought it would be best for me and others like me to decide whether they want to do this or not and act on it. Bigger shops acted by leaving or doing something else or taking a different approach to the matter, but that's not a choice for all of us. So, even though I disagree with this choice, and a lot of other choices actually, I do have my opinions on the matters, I just don't think they are important enough since I can't do anything about it, at least not now. 80 or 90% of my sales, that are not that many anyway, have come from within Etsy, from the search engine of Etsy, and from promoted listings, and I know that if I leave or if I do something different, I will lose that and I will not be able to uh, stay in the game and do this for the long run. Obviously, I would like to be able to do something different and be completely independent of these choices and these changes, but I'm not. So, I've said it a lot of times already and I'm rambling for a while now. I will just summarize and say that 
My opinion is not that I agree with the changes, it is just that whether we, th we agree or not on something, sometimes we have to make sacrifices and maybe approach a matter on a different way than others just because of our personal circumstances. Whether I think that this free shipping policy is a good thing or not, whether I agree with it or not, whether I understand the complications and the implications it has or not, I just have to do what I have to do in order to stay in the game. And I really think that I'm not the only one. There are a lot of small shops, there are a lot of people who are just starting out and cannot do anything different. So for them, I would suggest they find a way to offer the free shipping and comply with the changes and uh, evolve and adjust in order to be able in the future to grow and become independent of that. That's all. Now that's my opinion. If you disagree with that, I'm perfectly fine with that. But in the previous video, I was completely misunderstood. Everyone thought, oh, no, not everyone, a lot of people thought that I just agreed with a decision and I wanted everyone to provide free shipping. I wasn't. I'm just here to provide what I think are the best tools to stay relevant while you are within Etsy. Especially for small shops like mine that do not have the capacity just yet to compete with the bigger shops without taking advantage of these differences and um, changes. That's all. So yeah, that's my update on the Etsy update. <laughs> I hope that was more um, in detail and more specific on my opinions and why I choose to do what I choose to do and um, yeah that's it uh, if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below because uh, I do think it's important that we talk about it and we see the different uh, experiences each one of us has and I uh, hope to see you in the next video until then be safe, be happy, and keep going for your dreams. Bye.